everybody. This is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Information is below. At the moment, our website is down because we don't have the certificate, but it's safe. Uh, if you don't trust it, that's fine. Uh, my PayPal seems to often ha I have a lot of trouble with my PayPal's, and I don't know why. And there's not much I can do about it. We've tried for three years, honestly. So if you want a reading, and you want to read, especially if you want a reading from me, come to me directly. And uh, and it, I would be more than happy to help you out. Um, this is for Fire, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for... April 9th, 2023. It's basically the same reading as yesterday, interestingly enough. It starts out with a Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is is my patient's card. One of my patient's card. But it's not a major patient's card. And basically what it's saying is there's things happening that we're not aware of. So be patient. Time will take this time. Be, it, it literally, be patient. It, it, take this time to re relax, to look after yourself, because a nine of pentacles. We have done a lot of work here. Whether, it doesn't matter what other people think or say, we have done a lot of work. We are that kind of people. We don't maybe shout it from the rooftops, but that doesn't mean we haven't done a fair of, amount of shifting and changing. And recently, we haven't had a had a choice and when I say we I mean earth in general hasn't had a choice we cho we grow or we stagnate and most people choose to grow in fact the last two years has been the most number of people who've woken up in probably 15,000 years maybe maybe even more or 12,000 years one or the other I know it depends on the archaeological digger dig but anyhow this is a place of rest recuperation enjoying what you've got in life because you you've worked for it and if you do this if you can be patient and specifically tomorrow the ninth things will come together and I don't know about you but in my life many people there are many marriages happening this year, not right now. So pay attention to that because it bodes well for people who have been in years without relationships or good relationships and they really want to have something in their lives. So Because that is a card, I guess it's the Four of Wands. It's a card of coming together. It's a ca card of celebration. And... Um, I really think it's a good card. It's a card card that is well worth its it's a good card. And usually I get it for marriages. And I call I actually call it my marriage card. But in this case not everybody's getting married, not everybody has a boyfriend. Maybe tomorrow you will. So if you're wondering why if you're wondering why I use my re left hand so much and and you don't know me but you see this huge scar I f I fell almost a year ago and broke my arm and I broke my um, rotator cuff it took the it took the system eight months to the day I broke it on May Friday the 13th and had it repaired on January Friday the 13th it is now, I'm at 13 weeks, but I still haven't got a lot of mobility back yet. And uh, it's getting there. So the last card, most important card, card that I'm always excited when I draw. And so far lately, we've been drawing it for each sig each set of, uh, of cards. Not, not just fire, but earth, wind, and etc etc is nine of cups and the nine of cups is being on cloud nine being happy tomorrow the ninth just be happy 
for no reason. It's also a wish card. Make a wish. You're more than welcome to make a wish. And I always tell people, you know what? Make it for yourself. Make it, make it something that will make you happy. And it could be that you uh, being happy is that people are healed around you. I know that makes me happy. But whatever, but do it for yourself. Because we have worked hard and it's a bless we're giving we're being given a blessing all right so i'm going to pull it at that but for air the ninth it is a good day hopefully it's a quiet day take time to recoup and build up your energies okay namaste namasko and you i love and you i do love